All right, guys, go to Boy32 here. Check it out. So we're sitting here on the Freedom Table with a box full of Freedom, guys. I'm telling you right here, American made for life. A box from the guys over there at Palmetto State Armory. That's right. It's Mother's Day, and we're having fun. And what's in this box? Well, I've kind of opened it before, but what we're going to do now is I'm actually going to open it up. We're going to go through the contents. This is their 10 and a half inch build. And we're going to put this together, take it out, and shoot it. Then I'm going to bring it back, and we're going to accessorize it and turn it into something other than what you see right here. So here we go. Stand by. All right, so here we go, man. We've got this box opened, and guys, I am not exactly sure what they sent me. I thought they sent me the nitride. It may be the phosphate finish, but I opened up the bolt, and on their description of the nitride, is supposed to be a 158 carpenter steel. This has got 9310 on the bolt. Well, anyway, let's just have fun with it and open her up. Okay, so first of all, we've got the upper receiver. It is complete. You've got the... Uh, a2 style grips. These are really, really nice. You got a front sight post, F marked. You've got a A2 bird cage on this thing. It's, it is chambered in 5.56 NATO 1 and 7 twist. And we got a regular old mill spec charging handle here. We'll go ahead and tear the bolt apart here in a little bit. And then, uh, yeah, mill spec charging handle for assist. Uh, split A forging. Pretty good. I don't have any complaints there. The Delta Ring's kind of uh, got a shiny finish to it. That, that looks pretty good. We got a, uh, what do you call that thing? Um, bayonet lug. You got a swivel, front swing swivel right there. Let's go ahead and pull these off real quickly. Uh, okay, that hurt. Anyway, Delta Ring looks really good. Gas tube in place. It's centered. I'm liking it. Now, the barrel is supposed to be a nitride finish. Uh, well, I did cut myself right there. Look at that. Ow. Man, I just am such a mess these days. Not a blim on it. Looks pretty good for a good old duty weapon. And then, like I said, guys, this has got a, we got a little special treat coming up here. All right, so let's go ahead and put these to the side. We'll go ahead and pull. You got the heat shields in here, single layered. We'll pull that bolt apart here in a minute. Let's take a look. Yeah. Put my arm hand open over here. All right, so one of the first things I do, uh, you know, mill spec is mill spec, no big deal. 3.33 ounces standard. Okay. Mm -mm -mm. One of the things I'm looking at right here is your castle nut. Hold on. All right, so one of the things I like is a steel castle nut, and yeah, that one is made of steel. I just, I've had them made of aluminum or extruded, and they will crack like nobody's business. All right, let me look at the threads right here. One of the cool things that I absolutely love is seeing the threads and how defined they are right here. Another thing that I like is that this channel is absolutely perfectly centered in the buffer tube. Hold on one second. I got a little uh, AK-47 thing we're getting ready to start. Guys, this is one of the best uh, stocks there is available. Fab Defense, this is their core gl thing I, I think i'm pretty sure of it but anyway it's one of my absolutely favorites nice rubber padding here the ergonomically you got cutie all right we're getting off subject here so let's do this i'm gonna pull this off of here the reason it's going on here is i want you to look at that channel you see how it is not absolutely centered. It's thicker walled here than it is over here. That happens more often you would think. And I've actually had a BCM product come out of the uh, factory like that. So that's why this is going to go on an AK-47 build. This is going to be a fun little project. And we'll get that started here pretty soon. So anyway, back to this thing. I'm really happy about that. Now you know my pet peeves when it comes to uh, <laughs> buffer tubes. Hold on. Pull out the old pick here. And let's listen to it. You can uh, scratch a record of that thing. So what does that mean to me? Well, that means you're going to get that little bit of a noise when you're going back for it. Is it something that's you know going to prevent the firearm from working? No. Now, here's the thing. This came with the Mission First Tactical Brace, which is uh, unique. I don't ever, I've never seen one and this will be the first time so we'll be taking a look at it real quickly i don't know what do you guys think it deserves a review on its own I'm not sure let's go ahead and open this bad boy up because this is going to contain one 
the Mission First Tactical Brace. <laughs> See, this thing does not weigh anything. Four ounces. That's kind of crazy. Very nice. Uh, as far as construction, you've got sling slots here, here, here. There's a QD attachment points on both sides here. It is hollow all the way through, as you can see there. And then you do have the set screw right there. Now let's go ahead and figure out what size Allen wrench we're going to need because you do need an Allen wrench, hex head, head type wrench. Hold on. Yes. All right. So we've got that. I don't wonder if there's any Loctite or anything. So this is not adjustable like an SBA-3 brace. So if you had, say, for instance, your, uh, uh, you know, your, what do you call that thing? Law tactical folder, you could set this in place and not have to worry about it. All right, so let's open up the lower parts. Really not, you know what? Isn't that cute? I like how they have that packaging in a Ziploc baggie. That's pretty neat. We've got an A2 grip. Put that in the bin. Actually, I'm going to leave that on here. We've got uh, one of the things I absolutely love is a hex head screw for the grip screw instead of a uh, slot, a regular slot, because you can take your Allen wrench or a screwdriver and you can set it down in there. Uh, lower parts kit, lower parts kit, no big deal. Let's take a look at our hammer. One of the things we always look at right here that seems to be very, very smooth. You got your contact points here polished, and the only way to really find out is to put it together. So let's do this real quickly. We're going to use, where you at, the uh, old Pony Express here to put this guy together. And we'll take it out and run some test firings with it. Should be fun. Ah, but before we do, I got some special treat for you. I thought it'd be a lot of fun to put this guy on here. Now this is a Palmetto State Armory uh, carry handle. That's right. And I'm gonna put all the stuff to this on the links on my website, kb32tac.com kb32tech.com and I know who makes these for them and this is uh, pretty pretty nice uh, as a matter of fact what we'll do I'm actually going to do a review on this independently and we'll do a comparison between this Colt FN a uh, couple of the other manufacturers 9.2 ounces hold on here's a UTG Pro these are made in America 9.2 ounces so anyway, kind of be cool to see what the differences are between these two. Uh, sometimes, like right here, I can tell. Well, not really. You can tell the difference. There's something there that's a little different. But we're not reviewing this. Let's get on back to it. But I'm going to put the carry handle on here so we can do uh, have fun with it. Also, we will put an optic on it just to see how... It groups at, uh, let's say, 50 yards. Ten and a half inch gun. We're going to be putting a carry handle on it. I'm not concerned about anything outside of 100, maybe 200 yards with it. It should be fun. All right, so let's go ahead and stick this thing together, and I will be right back. All right, so I had to stop right here in the build process. Matter of fact, I'm going to put that thing away so it doesn't confuse anybody over there at the great world of uh, YouTube upper management. Uh, that right there. Let me see if I can get that in zero in. No, you're wrong way. Hold on. There, right there. Now, I don't know if this is standard in their build kits, but I like it. Because how many times have you ever built an AR-15? And these little boogers right here, these little rear takedown and front pivot pin uh, <laughs> detents and springs go disappearing in the middle of the, uh, the day or into your from one room into the other. So it's really cool. I've got three. Now, y'all let me know if you've had an experience. Are you getting three of these things versus just two? That, I thought, was absolutely a winner. What do you think? All right, here we go. Let me finish this thing. Okay, so we're pretty much done with putting the lower together. But one of the things I wanted to show you guys is this thing here. Okay, this is the Mission First Tactical. And... Well, that right there, that's kind of perturbing, but I haven't tightened it up yet. So let's see if it changes. 
when we find ourselves a hole. Let's go ahead. There's a hole. There's a hole. There's a hole. There's a little. Yeah, solid as a rock. Okay, so that was nothing to worry about. Anyway, there you go, guys. That's the lower end of it with the Mission First Tactical. And I have actually promised this little deal here to one of the viewers. And I'm going to send it off as soon as we get done and transforming this guy into what I actually want to do it with it. All right, guys, there it is in all its glory. We've got the uh, Mission First Tactical Blade on there. One of the things I did was I brought the buffer tube a little too far inside the upper receiver, which made this thing not want to fit. And I was like, what in the wild, wild world of sports is going on here? Let's go ahead and tap those down in there. There we go. All right, so while we are here, let's go ahead, before we put this guy in, let's talk about the bolt carrier group that came with this. Here we go. All right, so here we are. Now, here's the thing. This was supposed to be the nitride finish, and I can tell you right now, that is a nitride finish BCG. Uh, but the thing that uh, is kind of unusual, it's got a 9310 bolt in it, and I think what it said was it was supposed to be a 158 carpenter steel in the description, so you can't always talk about that but anyway am i going to check for the specs and then i'm going to put gauges in here no i'm not uh but we are going to just take a look at it see how clean it is look at the staking i want to check to see if everything's in place here we've got our insert spring insert in there that's looking pretty good and then we've got our donut ring very nicely done uh pretty cool it is marked 9310 steel. Come on, baby. There we go. Bolt looks good. It is a nitride finish. That's a very good looking bolt. And it does have some brass inside the bolt face. So I can tell you that they have test fired this guy. All right. I'm digging it. Very clean. No problems here. Yeah, nitride finish. Absolutely. All right. That's pretty much it. If it runs, it runs. I'm not worried about it. But I do like the fact that I got a 9310 carp. Uh, oh shit! Oh, here it is. <laughs> I've got a bolt that's 9310 steel. Looks pretty good. Standard. And the firing pin retaining pin is a firing pin retaining pin. Retaining pin. Fire firing pin retainer pin. <laughs> okay, let's go ahead and put this bad boy together. Let's check the weight of that trigger pull. Hold on. My digitals are in my vehicle. Yep, seven pound trigger. The idea though, with just a tad of lubricant on there, very smooth. And that's what I expect. Very nice. All right, let's put these hand guards back. I don't care. There we go. Nice looking build. What do you guys think? Uh, $419. I'll go ahead and put the link at kb32tac.com so you can uh, head on over there if this is something that you're interested in. I like a good old truck gun. This is a good truck gun. I don't really leave any guns in the vehicle, but this is a good one to have. Now, as far as upgrades, where do we do with our carry handle? Here we go. Go ahead and put the carry handle on. Wow, now she's looking good. <laughs> All right, so this is the basis of a project that we're getting ready to start. We're going to do a pin and welding. Uh, we've figured out how to go ahead and get that muzzle break out. So we're getting 16 inches. We're going to put an M4 stock on it and a quad rail. But it's going to be a lot of fun, and I want to bring you guys along for the journey. All right, so if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. 
Subscribe if you haven't already done so. Support red, white, and blue. Support those people who support and enforce our Constitution. 24-7 for our freedom, because freedom's not free. Did I already say if you liked the video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe? I think it did. It's been a long day. It's Boy 32 I'm out of here. Y'all be good.